It's common knowledge that the Titanic met its fate due to an iceberg, but there's far more to this nautical calamity than meets the eye. Come along on this voyage of discovery, and we'll uncover 20 unknown facts about the Titanic. To begin, none of the engineers survived. In 1912, as the Titanic sank, the passengers were busy grabbing their possessions, while the engineers stayed true to their duties. Joseph Bell and his team of 24 engineers, six electrical engineers, two boilermakers, a plumber, and his clerk kept the power running until the very end, sacrificing their lives to give the passengers a fighting chance. Another interesting fact is the origin of the iceberg that sunk the ship. It was the product of some warm weather that occurred four years before the voyage. Scientists from the University of Sheffield concluded that the iceberg that sank the Titanic was the result of a period of warm, wet weather weakening the glaciers and making them more prone to calving. This particular iceberg was an immense 400 feet long and two megatons, similar in weight to a herd of 40 elephants or a small moon. The Titanic was no match for this colossal iceberg that had been in the making for years. Its hull was bent over 100 meters by the berg, as if it was made out of paper, and the rest is history. Who knew Mother Nature could be so ironic? Another interesting fact about the Titanic is that its four towering smokestacks, also known as funnels, were only for show. In the early 1900s, these funnels were a symbol of speed and safety, so the White Star Line decided that only three of them would be working. The fourth funnel was a Fay aid, with a luxurious first-class smoking room as its inner chamber. It was practically all smoke and mirrors. The Titanic's sister ships, the Olympic and the Britannic, also had a non-functional, purely ornamental fourth funnel. One of the main tragedies of the Titanic was that it was not equipped with enough lifeboats. In 1912, 2,200 passengers set sail on the ill-fated Titanic, blissfully unaware of the chilling fate that awaited them below the surface. However, the ship only had a mere 20 lifeboats instead of the 64 that were required. This was a similar situation to bringing a teaspoon to a flood. The owners were more concerned about the aesthetics of the deck than the safety of their passengers. Furthermore, regulations from the Stone Age were still in place, designed for ships that were half the size of the Titanic. They thought that even if the ship was damaged, it would stay afloat for hours, allowing the lifeboats to make trips back and forth to rescue everyone. But in just 20 minutes, the Titanic sunk, and a document later revealed a safety inspector's desperate plea for 10 more lifeboats, but the owners were too obsessed with leaving on time to listen. Had they heeded this warning, nearly 700 more people could have been saved. The Titanic became a chilling reminder of human arrogance, a cautionary tale etched into history's depths. Sadly, the identities of many of the victims remain unknown. The sinking of the Titanic was a disaster of massive proportions, with more than 1,500 people losing their lives, yet the true count of fatalities may never be known. Official numbers list 1,514, but other sources suggest the number is as low as 1,419 or as high as 1,635. The recovery of the bodies was a difficult and unpleasant task, with 316, 337 bodies being recovered in total, making up just 23% of the dead. To this day, some of those buried remain unidentified, such as the 42 bodies in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. It was not until 2008 that the body of 19-month-old Sidney Leslie Goodwin was identified after 96 years. What if we told you that the shipwreck was not just due to bad luck and navigational errors, but an optical illusion? According to historian Tim Moulton, the atmospheric conditions that night were perfect for super refraction, a term used for the bending of light that creates mirages. The Titanic's lookouts were unable to see the iceberg in time, and the nearby freighter, the Californian, was unaware of the tragedy, as the air contained layers of cold and warm air, creating a false horizon and making things appear closer than they were. The distress rockets were also misjudged due to the mirage. When the Californians saw the rockets, they thought it was simply a vessel sailing away and didn't even bother to aid the Titanic. As more and more people talk about it, they believe the ship was cursed from the inside out. Did you know that lifeboat drills were a common practice amongst ocean liners in the early 1900s? Even the crew of the Titanic was expected to carry out these drills every week, but on the day of the iceberg incident, the drill was canceled by none other than Captain Edward John Smith. 
It's still a mystery as to why he chose to cancel the drill, with some speculating it was for a final Sunday service before retirement. Despite reports of ice in the area and warnings from other ships, the captain still decided to cancel the very thing that could have prepared the crew and passengers for an emergency. The tragedy of the Titanic sinking and the loss of 1,500 lives could have been avoided if the drill had taken place. Additionally, it is believed the band on board played until the end to bring a sense of comfort to the passengers. Though James Cameron's iconic film Titanic portrayed this scene featuring the hymn Nearer My God to Thee, the actual band consisted of eight musicians led by Wallace Henry Hartley. They entertained the first-class passengers in the saloon and the ship's restaurant. Accounts of what music they played during the ship's final moments vary. Despite popular opinion, the wireless operator, Harold Bride, asserted that the last song he heard was Autumn, but let's not get too attached to the music, as the band had the foresight to store away their instruments before succumbing to the deep. Only three of the eight musicians' bodies were found, and, in a somber twist, Wallace Hartley was discovered almost two weeks later, clutching his case with his beloved violin inside. It could be argued that his beloved instrument played a role in keeping his body afloat, how ironic. SS Californian watches Titanic sink. On April 15, 1912, the SS Californian was sailing the icy waters of the North Atlantic when the crew spotted the Titanic's lights. The crew spotted the distress rockets and reported it to Captain Lord, who was in his bed. Instead of waking up the wireless operator, Lord proposed using Morse code to contact the Titanic. When the officers saw more rockets, did Captain Lord do something? No, he just brushed it off, thinking they were only company signals. When the Carpathia arrived to rescue survivors, the Californian finally acted to go check out the area. What did they find? Debris? Nothing more. To make matters worse, Captain Lord's testimony was conflicting and incomplete. He couldn't even decide if he saw the rockets or not. Lord stated his ship was 30 miles away, but other crew members said less than 20. The ship's logs were also missing. Ultimately, both inquiries found Captain Lord and the Californian crew responsible. Had they responded to the distress signals, more lives could have been saved, maybe even all. But why be a hero when you can just go back to bed? The tragedy of the Titanic is one that could have been avoided, and among the wreckage deep beneath the sea, a haunting discovery was made binoculars. In the years that followed, people asked if those binoculars could have prevented the disaster had someone in the crow's nest seen the iceberg in time. It turns out that the binoculars were on board, but David Blair, the sailor meant to be on the voyage, had forgotten to leave the key to the locker. Fred Fleet maintained that the binoculars could have seen the iceberg in time to steer the ship away from danger, yet skeptics argued that the darkness made it impossible. One survivor, known as Miss Unsinkable, defied death three times. Violet Jessup, Miss Unsinkable, was a stewardess for the White Star Line, who had saved the crew of the RMS Olympic when it collided with the HMS Hawk in 1911. Her remarkable survival story has been immortalized. In the year prior, Violet Jessup was aboard the RMS Titanic when it tragically sank on its maiden voyage. She was commanded to board a lifeboat and given a baby to take care of while trying to save her own life. Remarkably, Jessup succeeded. Her adventures didn't end there, as in 1916 she was on the HMHS Britannic that struck a mine and began to sink. She was able to escape the vessel, but sustained a fractured skull in the process. Despite all her experiences, Jessup continued to work on ships and even served as a nurse during World War I. The Titanic had a few fatal flaws. Its double bottoms and 15 watertight bulkheads were thought to make it practically unsinkable. However, these compartments weren't watertight at the top and allowed water to freely flow from one to the other. Additionally, the crew had been warned multiple times about an iceberg, but they were too preoccupied with sending passenger messages to pay attention. The radio operator on the SS California sent a message about being stuck in a maze of ice, but it lacked a code that would have caught the attention of the captain. Regrettably, the iceberg arrived at 11.40 p.m. an hour after the radio operator had decided to end the night. To this day, there is still speculation that human remains exist in the wreckage. In 2004, a photo of a boot and leather coat was released, which could suggest human remains inside the ship. James Cameron, who has gone down to the wreck 33 times, claims he has seen no human remains. Nevertheless, 
it is possible that undiscovered corpses still remain within its untraveled chambers. The mission to protect and preserve the Titanic began decades ago, when the wreck was discovered in 1985, lying two miles below the surface of the North Atlantic. In 1986, the RMS Titanic Memorial Act was created in order to safeguard the wreck, yet its efficacy is still uncertain. One query that remains unanswered, what happened to the approximately 1,500 people who lost their lives in the Titanic's tragic sinking? Out of the total, only 340 bodies were recovered. John Jacob Astor, the world's wealthiest man, was aboard the Titanic, a man of many interests and talents. He was an incredibly innovative thinker and had a love for the finer things in life. After traveling abroad for a number of years, he returned to the United States to manage his family's massive fortune of $150 million. He wrote a semi-scientific novel, a journey in other worlds, and invented several mechanical devices such as a bicycle brake and a pneumatic road improver. Astor was also a savvy businessman, constructing the Astoria Hotel in New York City in 1897, which was adjacent to the Waldorf Hotel built by his cousin William Waldorf Astor. Together, they formed the famous and luxurious Waldorf Astoria. However, Astor's personal life was not without scandal. He divorced his first wife, Ava Shippen, in 1909 and married 18-year-old Madeleine Force in 1911. Shockingly, even before the Titanic set sail, it had already claimed the lives of eight workers and had 28 severe accidents during its construction. It cost a hefty one and a half million pounds to build, and it was anticipated that one death would occur for every 100,000 pounds spent, making a total of 15 expected deaths. Some of the deceased fell from the ship or its staging, but the story of James Dobbin is particularly tragic. On the day the Titanic was launched in front of 10,000 people, he was crushed to death. Out of all the men who died during construction, only five are known by name, Samuel Scott, William Clark, John Kelly, Robert Murphy, and James Dobbin. In 2012, a plaque was unveiled in Belfast to honor the eight workers who lost their lives building the ship. Recently, a subscriber shared an image with us that left him and his friends baffled. It appears to be a living man under the sea exploring the sunken ship. This discovery stunned the world. Can you help us solve this mystery and identify the man? Is it the ghost of one of the victims who did not survive? Finally, a Japanese man was condemned for surviving the Titanic tragedy. Once upon a time, there was a civil servant by the name of Hosono, who was sent on a research mission to Russia by the Japanese Ministry of Transport. On his way back, he boarded the notorious Titanic as a second-class passenger. During that fateful night, he was awoken by a steward and attempted to reach the deck, but the crew member thought he was a third-class passenger and stopped him. As he witnessed Lifeboat 10 being loaded, an officer shouted room for two more and a man leapt onto it. Hosono saw this and decided to follow suit without realizing the consequences this would have. At first, Hosono's story did not draw much attention. He went to his friends at Mitsui in New York to ask for help in getting home. But when a local newspaper named him the lucky Japanese boy, the media went into a frenzy. The seaman in charge of the boat, Edward Bewley, told AU. Senate inquiry that Hosono and the other man likely disguised themselves as women to sneak aboard. The Japanese press labeled him a coward, and he was ostracized and condemned by society. He lost his job and was even criticized in school textbooks as an example of dishonor. However, Hosono was too valuable to be discarded, so he was re-employed by the ministry and continued to work until 1939. Little did anyone know that the moon could have been responsible for the sinking of the Titanic. Scientists are now claiming that a supermoon caused a massive iceberg to drift into the Titanic's path, leading to its tragic end. It is believed that this alignment between the moon and Earth occurred on January 4, 1912, and the Titanic sank just a few months later on April 15 of the same year. What's more shocking is that this theory could explain why the experienced Titanic captain Edward Smith seemed to ignore warnings of icebergs in the area. It's likely he never expected an iceberg of such enormous size to drift so far south, all thanks to the moon. Furthermore, the Titanic might face a fate more dramatic than its ill-fated sinking. According to forensic astronomers at Texas State University, 
metal-eating bacteria has caused the ship to deteriorate faster than a melting ice cube in the Sahara. By 2030, we will be left with nothing more than a big pile of rust to gawk at. Among the casualties of the Titanic disaster were also some furry friends. Nine dogs were aboard the ship, with most of them kept in the kennel. As the ship began to sink, someone freed them, causing chaos as they ran around the deck. Sadly, most of them didn't survive, including a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, an Airedale Terrier, a Chow Chow, and a champion French Bulldog named Gamin de Picom. The first-class passengers were a bit better off with their own private bathrooms, but down in third class things got a bit rough. Imagine 700 people sharing just two bathrooms with only two tubs, and one of them was reserved for the 200 women, while more than 450 men had to share the other one. Even if you had the luxury of a private tub, it wasn't like you were using it every day. First-class passengers would go a whole week between baths, as was the norm back then. The Titanic will keep on breaking our hearts every time we hear more about it. Subscribe if you enjoyed and comment what was the most interesting part for you.